Let's make some observations with our eyes. First of all, there are six sides to this box. And there it was the first side. This is the second side. So this is what we actually see. We're making observations. Here's the third side. Here's the fourth side. And you can see on top is the is the fifth side. Now the big question is, is what does the sixth side look like? I didn't show it to you. We gotta figure it out. In order to figure it out, we need to make some more observations. So here we take a look at the two opposite sides. And here we're going to turn the box to see two more opposite sides. See if there's any patterns there. And finally we get to that fifth side. And it's the opposite of this fifth side is the side we're trying to figure out what it looks like. So were there any patterns that gave it away at all? Let's take one more look to see if we can find any patterns. Here are the two opposite sides of Alma and Alfred. We see a two in the lower left hand corner. And you notice that, hey, it looks like Alfred and Alma, they have the first two letters, A-L, in common. And you'll notice in the upper right hand corner, that upper right hand corner shows that the that number corresponds to the number of letters in each of the names. Here we have Rob and Roberta. And again, we have a number three in the lower left corner signifying they share the first three letters, R-O-B, in common. And the upper right hand corner shows the number, looks like that's the number of letters in the full name. And you might also see that the opposite sides, the colors match. And it seems like that the names are female and male on the opposite sides. Okay, this leads us to our fifth side. And here we have Frank, so the number four in the lower left-hand corner seems to be the first four letters of the name, F-R-A-N. And the five in the upper right-hand corner is the total letters of Frank. So maybe the opposite side is also orange, if it's the pattern. Also, maybe it is a female name that has the letters F-R-A-N. So maybe it's Fran, or maybe it's Francine, or Francesca. Let's see what it looks like. And it's revealed to be Francine. So Francine with the letter 4 in the lower left-hand corner for the F-R-A-N, 8 for the 8 letters of the name Francine, and it's female, opposite that of Frank, which is male. So this is the expected results based on our predictions, or what we call maybe a hypothesis. But let's take a look at another box. This time, whoa, the box has no name in it. That's unexpected results. And the purpose behind this is to show that in science, no matter what your prediction or hypothesis is, the results may be expected, like the Francine one, or it may be unexpected, like this one, where there's no name. Unexpected results happen in science. It doesn't matter if your hypothesis is correct or not. The important part is, do you get results that answer the question? Or does it tell you if your hypothesis supported or rejected? doesn't matter what you expect. What matters is, do you get an answer to it? And this often leads to more questions, more scientific questions to ask. And that's how science works, is by getting results that expected or unexpected will lead to new questions to investigate.